Good morning, and welcome to Awaken Game, episode two. Today, we are playing some Minecraft. I thought I'd hop on here. I was kind of feeling some Hunger Games when I woke up this morning. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna play some of that, and I am gonna answer a question today. As I said in the first episode of this brand new daily show, what I want to do a lot of the time is answer questions from you guys because there's I'm being really good at this but no and I jinx myself uh, Because yeah, it's a great opportunity for you guys to ask me questions and me to answer so today's question I've actually kind of adapted But today's original question is from cupcake pie. Who am I? It's just a beautiful name and her or his question. I actually have no idea. I'm sorry Mysterious humanoid was well, so what is your favorite game, but I have translated that into I'm just gonna generally talk About some of my gaming memories because there were three I was thinking about last night when I was thinking what I wanted to do for this episode and there were three that were I kind of picked out or I guess as the main three experiences gaming wise that I've had in my life some of these will span over an hour and some of these span over like four years so that's what we're gonna do do today do do today do do today well th that's a great start let me just try and get some of the things in this chest first have a good start to this hunger games and then we will go into it come on I haven't played on the hive in a while actually I thought I'd give it a go and I nearly got two pieces of iron but I did get at least one and I got some green Super sexy leggings as well. I'm gonna go up this way because I am a rebel Anyway, so while I am starting to play this game and yeah, I forgot there wasn't a grace period on this Someone's attacking me get away you knew <laughs> Well, let's find another game shall we and I will talk about some gaming memories <laughs> So I thought the first one I would kind of highlight because if I didn't highlight this one there isn't any point in highlighting the others really. This is how I got into gaming because without a start Where is the beginning or middle or end except scratch the beginning because that is the exact same thing as the start But how did I get into gaming and I don't think I have actually ever told you guys this story basically I was about I would say five or six years old and in the early part of my childhood my parents were actually very very anti-tech they really wanted me to have a very outdoor kind of upbringing and to never go on the computer or anything. I, we didn't even have a VCR because I remember my mum thinking it would corrupt me. And, you know, this is a totally different story and I'll probably tell this in the future. But the day that I got my first, well, the family got our first VCR and I got my Winnie the Pooh tape. So much happiness in my childhood. Anyway, how did I get into gaming? Well, I was about five or six and I went with the family up to see some relatives. Now, we get there, it's about 7pm, everyone's eating dinner, and I'm just not hungry, so I'm exploring this house, you know, I've never been to this place before. And they've got, like, this glass table that, you know, you can store loads of stuff under in their lounge, or their sitting room, or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people from different countries call them different things, but that kind of room. Also, we've got another game start here, we're only three minutes in, and this is our second game. And I didn't even get a sprint there, you know what? There's no grace period, I didn't get a sprint, I'm probably better just running away. And and seeing what happens. Well, there's some gold. I don't know why someone dropped that, but I'll take it. So anyway, I find this glass table, and as I said, you know, there's a bunch of things just generally piled under it, and I'm looking through it, and one of the things I see catches my eye, and it's purple, and I'm there thinking, oh, I've always wanted to see one of these. What is it? It was a Game Boy Color. Amazing. So, for some reason, and this is the part of the story that I don't understand myself still but for some I'm gonna go to that secret area up there I haven't been there for ages for some reason I didn't just want to say to my dad hey can I play a Game Boy I think it was probably because again you know I knew that my parents weren't massive fans of it and oh there's someone here can we hit him off I think we can no one else is coming up here <gasps> can we hit him off yes die bro oh my god oh my god someone else is <laughs> I'm coming from we are playing hunger games so badly right now that it's actually funny my god uh, <laughs> Well, I have just woken up. I was actually quite tired this morning, so That's probably reflecting in my gameplay today But anyway, you know so after about two hours of you know trying to hint to my dad about this Game Boy in there he finally picks up and 
he gives it to me. I'm like, oh my god, yes. And it had Super Mario Land 2 in it. I remember booting that thing up, playing it for five minutes, and thinking, yes, this is what I want to do. And it kind of was. And then the Christmas after that, my parents gave in and got me a Game Boy. I, oh my god, relevant to the story. And this is a massive coincidence. But I, I have it right here. I was going through some old things about a week ago, and I found this, and I've had it sitting on my desk just because it's nice and nostalgia, and I'm looking at it. Look at this. This was the first Game Boy. This was the first gaming experience that I ever had in my life. This started it all. Notice it is Yoshi Green. I think that was a bit of random psychic memory telling or future predicting or however you want to say it uh, by young childhood Yoshi there. So there's the first story. That's how I got into gaming. Now, the second one is the most exciting experience I've had in gaming. I thought this would be one to point out, and I have mentioned this in the past. I thought this would be a cool one to point out, uh, just because it's I'm so fond of the memories with this. When I was 12 years old, um, you know, going into some physical stories, I guess, when my adult teeth were coming through, these two teeth here and these two teeth here, the corners, um, I don't know dental terminology, but those corner ones, the baby teeth, didn't actually come out. These adult ones popped through here, and then the other ones just popped to the side in my gum. And it didn't hurt or anything, but, you know, I couldn't go through that. So, my biggest phobia next to spiders is injections, needles, anything like that. If it is pointy and it goes in your skin, I'm not having any of it. So, uh, ooh, what can I get in here? Well, that's some sticks. I'll take that, sure. There's someone over there just being... This is why the hive is tricky, because you don't have a grace period. I'm so used to grace period. I'm spending way too much time at the chest. So that's why I'm dying in all of these. But oh well, we'll carry on. Uh, so, you know, I had to have basically six injections, I think it was, per tooth. And there were four teeth to get each of these out. And it happened from 12 years old all the way up until about 14. It was just like at different times they all occurred. So when it first happened, I was freaking out. I was really scared. And I think about six months ago or something from that, I'd got an Xbox 360 for Christmas. So, you know, I was playing that a lot. And I was playing like GTA and stuff. And I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Sorry, that's great. And my mom says, hey, do you want to go and get a game when I'm 12 years old? You know, after this injection thing. Like, get it before. And then when I get home from the injection, play it. And I thought, you know what? That would be quite cool. And I go to the store. And out of all the games, I randomly pick Halo 3. Now... That was possibly the best decision I've ever made, or one of them, because that game I had such amazing times with. I met so many friends through it. Um, I, I don't mean to boast, I actually got kind of good at the game. I need to pick up an Xbox One and the new collection. I really do. It's the only game I want to properly play right now is the Halo 3 section of that. And um, again, some lag. I'm trying out 60 FPS today in Minecraft, and I know my computer could take it, but... There are some graphics card settings I have to do when I messed around with it, and it was going great, and now I'm in this one, and it isn't great. So, hopefully that fixes itself up. I don't know what FPS. We're getting 30. Well, that's why. Oh, no, we're coming back up. Well, you know what, Minecraft, just stop being a dick. So, yeah, Halo 3. That was just amazing. That was the first proper multiplayer experience I had as well, which I think is probably why I had such good memories with it. Um, just, just an amazing game. Amazing game. So many friends met through it. I played on this site called Game Battles, which I think is still running. It's run by MLG. And what it basically is, is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a way to compete in tournaments online before you could just, you know, like for League of Legends, go into a proper full, you know, ranked game or anything. Like, they had those in Halo, but they weren't tournaments or anything. So... That was really, really cool, and I had a lot of memories with that. Met a few friends through there. Actually tried to compete in some game battles things as well, in some tournaments, which was interesting. Okay, this is a bit better than we're doing last time, at least. All of the games we have played today, this is the best one, and that is defined by the fact that I am in the game for more than a minute. Or at least I hope so. So there's my Halo memory. Moving on to the last one. You can probably guess which game I'm going to say. I don't think it takes a genius. But yes, of course, it is Minecraft. How could I not mention Minecraft? The interesting reason that I want to mention Minecraft actually isn't just because it's, you know, an amazing game that has changed pretty much everything. 
and has created a genre and done all of this. I mean, it is all of that, and I could quite easily talk about all of that, but I want to talk about it more personally and how it's affected me because that's, you know, what this show is about. It's about a more chilled kind of video once a day where you guys get to know me a bit better, I get to talk more personally with you and all of that kind of stuff. So, how has Minecraft affected my life? I mean... This video right here is an example of that. The oh, you douche! Oh, you knew that was a dead end and you were just crouching around. You know what? I've actually got to say that was pretty cool. I, I, I like that guy. Okay, can I? Is he still chasing me? <laughs> yes, he's still chasing me. I had no chance of getting off there. Oh my god. Well, while I tell this last story, I will play at least one more game. My god. But yes, yeah, so carrying on Minecraft, how has it changed my life? I mean, let's let's go back to the beginning, because that's probably where you need to go with Minecraft. It's such a complex story that you kind of need to go, you know, three years back. So the way I discovered Minecraft, before Twitch TV was a thing or anything like that, uh, there was called Justin TV. And you probably know that because it only actually closed down recently. And they were the same company, but everyone gamed on Justin as well. It was nowhere near as big as it is now, but people gamed. And I remember finding this one channel called LimeWax, and he was playing a game called Minecraft. And I thought, that game sounds seriously lame. But I clicked on anyway because I thought it looked interesting. You know, obviously you have the stream thumbnail. I thought the graphic style of the game looked quite interesting, so I checked it out. That's pretty much history from then on because, yeah, I kind of got addicted to the game and then decided to make YouTube videos of it. And I'm not going to talk about the YouTube side of it too much because that's not gaming related when it comes to the actual game of Minecraft and what I'm playing. You know, that's a totally different element of my life. But I can't just ignore the fact that through discovering Minecraft and playing it, this has been able to become my job. You know, I've met literally my best friends in the world through Minecraft. I really have. Um, and obviously through the YouTube community, but let's just for the moment say Minecraft and it's, it's just been an amazing experience to be a part of. The other thing as well, to witness how it's progressed. Because, you know, obviously I was there in the early days. In fact, to give you an idea of how early I was actually playing Minecraft, when I first started playing, Notch did something on his blog, which was just the Mojang website, called... Um, Oh god, you know, I can't- Wow, that's the worst fail so far. This is the Hunger Games dying over and over again episode. Uh, I can't remember what he called them anyway, but they were like update Saturdays or something. So every week on that day, he would add a new random feature to the game. Not tell you what it was, and you had to find it out. And there were loads of forum posts about it. And to be a part of that was really, really cool. You couldn't do that nowadays because the community is just too big. But to be a part of it when it was the perfect size for something like that, it was amazing. You just felt a part of something, you know? You felt like you were a part of making something, almost. Even though you weren't doing the work. You really felt like that. It was really, really cool. But the other thing, I think one of the memories that sticks out in my mind the most is, as I said, when I first started playing Minecraft, it was around the time that he was working on getting multiplayer out. So, you could only play single player and, you know, download maps and stuff like that when I first started playing. There weren't really mods, there were probably a few out there, but, you know, there weren't proper mods. So, seeing the mod community has changed, and, you know, I won't really talk as much about that, but... Let me get to the point of this story. What happened was, I was browsing Twitter one day, and I saw Notch tweet out that he was trying out a Minecraft server. I thought, okay, that sounds really, really cool, because there was a multiplayer button always in Minecraft, but it was greyed out, you could never click it. So suddenly he updates, you can click this button, and there is one Minecraft server in the world with about 20 people on. The buggiest thing I could see, you disconnect after about two minutes, there was nothing to do, skins didn't exist on the servers. But it was just awesome to see. And I... As you can probably tell by the way I'm telling the story, I managed to make it on there a couple of times. Uh, it was you, you couldn't copy and paste the IP, you couldn't save them. So to give you an idea of how painful this process was, I managed to get on there twice. To give you an idea of how painful this was, you had to re-enter the long IP with all the periods and all the numbers and the colons and everything every single time you wanted to try and join. There's probably about 100,000 people, at most I would say at this time, trying to join and there are 20 slots. So you can imagine how hard it was. I managed to join twice. 
it was a lot of fun. And there was just something, you know, it wasn't groundbreaking. I wasn't thinking, oh, wow, you know, this is unlike anything else I've ever seen before. It was a multiplayer game. But to be a part of it when it was being built up at that time by the maker and I now have every single color of pant I could want... You know, just to be a part of it in that way was really, really, really cool. And I'm never going to forget that. So, there you go, guys. There are some of my gaming memories. We are going to finish off this Hunger Games game, though. Don't worry. But it was really cool to highlight some of those. Okay, this could actually be the one we do all right in because I have a sword, which is better than I have done so far this game. And I did see someone around here, and I kind of want to go for him. So, how do we get down? <laughs> yeah, how do... How do we get down here? It was around the other way. There are two people around here. Come on. Come on. Oh, we've got to go down here. Okay. This is a confusing stairway. What is this? Is there anything in there? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's just because I've got a weapon in my hand. Nope. There's nothing in there anyway, and I just wasted time. Okay. Is anyone else around here? There is someone over here. I don't know where anyone else is, but we're going to go and find him. I'm sorry, man. God damn. He took me down so fast. <laughs> I am not playing Hunger Games well today. I think it's just because I woke up really, really early and then started to film this. So, thank you guys for tuning in today to Waken Game. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a suggestion, or well, just a question, in the comment section below, guys, for me to talk about next episode. Not every episode of Wake and Bake is going to be choose a question and answer it. We're going to do tons of different things on this show. But do leave one anyway. I had a bunch of fun reading through the ones on episode one. And I would love to see some more today. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've said anyway way too much today, I think. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Wake and Game. And I will see you all next morning. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.